Nous sommes de retour pour Nougat TV et je suis ici avec euh, l'équipe de tournage pour le film euh, Paris Blues in Harlem. Euh, je suis ici avec euh, Nadej Peta mm -hmm. et sa collègue Michelle Baldwin. Et elles nous rejoignent de New York City. Mm -hmm. Elles sont venues à la distance pour participer au festival cette année. C'est la 16e édition. On va commencer alors, euh, euh, Nadej. How are you? I'm fine. I'm Do fine. I'm French? fine. I understand it more than I speak it. I speak French bonics. Lots French of bonics. Lots French of bonics. grammar error. Okay. I used to. I was very fluent okay. at the age of two because my family's from Haiti. Okay. But I was born in, this, in the United States. Yeah. So I had to forget French and relearn English because they didn't have bilingual at the time. Okay. Okay. So I'm American born, so American schooling, I had to speak English. <laughs> ben alors, euh, malheureusement, yeah. elle ne parle plus français. Elle parlait <laughs> quand elle était très jeune et depuis, euh, comme elle a été élevée en Amérique du Nord, euh, ce n'est plus euh, euh, son instinct de parler français. So, tell us a little bit about your film. Um, Paris Blues in Harlem is about a young girl who's, uh, a young woman, not a young girl, who's trying to convince her grandfather to accept the realtor's mounds of cash in exchange for his jazz club. So it's about generational differences and where they place their values. So her value is in, hey, let's cash out because this jazz club is struggling, his value is to pass on the legacy. So you see the two struggles between where their values are placed. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Alors le film euh, raconte l'histoire d'une jeune femme qui veut vendre le club de jazz de son grand-père parce que euh, en fait, euh, elle a une opportunité de gagner beaucoup d'argent en vendant cette propriété. Mais le grand-père euh, insiste à garder l'héritage de, de son club et du jazz. Alors on voit les différences entre les cultures et les âges des, des, des caractères et des personnages dans le film. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, question for Michelle. And, um, Bonjour. First of all, welcome. Bonjour. Bonjour. Tu parles français? Parlez-vous français un peu? Uh, un peu. Excellent, un peu. excellent, excellent. <laughs> and uh, your experience with the film? and the making and developing all night, starting with the, your, your role okay. and everything. How was that? It was, and it's always an amazing journey. Um, as a filmmaker, when you can wake up in the morning and do what you love, it's always uh, a gift and a blessing. And uh, was just, it's always amazing, no matter whether it's up or down, the trials and tribulations, it's always worth it. When you see the finished product and you say the fruits of the labor were definitely worth it. I um, was uh, the line producer, producer and um, actress, uh, the devil to Nadezh's character, enticing her to take the money and run <laughs> and take grandpapa uh, away from the craziness and chaos of the club. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So, alors le rôle de Michel, en fait, son expérience était, euh, c'était vraiment euh, d'accomplir cette grande tâche de réaliser ce film. Euh, il y a toujours beaucoup de travail euh, qui, euh, qui, euh, qui est nécessaire pour réaliser ce genre de travail, de tâche. Et euh, elle a eu, les, après euh, beaucoup de défis, beaucoup de temps investi, euh, le film s'est réalisé. Et en tant que productrice et actrice dans le film aussi, elle jouait le rôle euh, du, euh, de, de, du conseil négatif au, au personnage de, de Nadej. Elle est euh, pour la tenter de prendre l'argent au lieu de garder l'héritage euh, du club de jazz. Alors, euh, ouais, c'était ça son rôle. So. My next question for you two is, um, how was it, um, first, um, have you been to France before? No, I haven't been to France, so this is my first time. First time, so yes. receiving uh, the, the, the email or the, the letter that you are selected to come to Cannes, how was that feeling? It was a great feeling because okay. of the title, Paris Blues in Har Harlem, okay. even though I know this is in can, but I know it's something that can resonate when um, globally about passing legacy. When, some, when a, a parent or a grandparent want to pass on a business to. But it's also in the backdrop of gentrification, 
where people are feeling displaced because you bring a new group of people to help bring the economic of a neighborhood. But what actually happens is that these people feel displaced because now they cannot afford to live in the area. So then they, there's a sense of push out. So I feel like that message can um, resonate not only locally as we talk about Harlem, but also um, internationally because there's always that sense of a, one group feeling displaced by another group. And also passing on legacy. Okay. Ben alors, euh, premièrement, euh, juste réaliser qu'ils allaient euh, participer au festival. C'était une bonne nouvelle pour l'équipe. Euh, mm -hmm. euh, c'est la première fois en France. Le titre, évidemment, c'est Paris Blues in Harlem. Et même s'il y a le nom Paris euh, et ils sont à Cannes, ils sont quand même heureux. Et le message important aussi, c'est de réaliser que les différences dans les dans les les, les euh, les groupes socio-économiques, je ne sais pas si le mot existe en français, la gentrification, c'est la division entre les pauvres et les riches. Et ce concept, et on visite ce concept dans le film. Alors, la tentation de vendre le club de jazz aux gens qui vont transformer ce club à, dans un milieu de la ville à Harlem euh, et le transformer euh, en club qui est trop cher pour les, 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 les habitants et les et les visiteurs réguliers du club, c'est un sujet qui est visité dans le film. Alors, c'est un excellent travail, on peut dire, et ça, ça visite des sujets de l'héritage, de la division socio-économique, ouais, et de la musique aussi. Oui. So, all right, so, um, last question. Okay. For the two of you, okay. um, Paris Blues in, is, in Harlem is done. Mm -hmm. It's here. Yes. So what's next? What's next is that um, is developing it into a television series okay. um, because there's a lot of stories that could be told, even though it's in a specific place, but it has a global message. And um, so right now it's 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 shot as a short, but there's uh, stories that we can be told. There's so many characters, and there's so many things that are happening in Harlem right now. You're talking about the shift, right? It's there's the old Harlem and there's the new Harlem, and looking at it is what this one place that's sort of like the bridge between the old and the new Harlem. So I know in in I don't know if France know about Cheers like the television series Cheers, where all the stories took place in that club. And that's sort of like the same premise we want to take as we learn the social issues, the social message that occurs in that specific place. And watching him be, watching that place be the glue, the glue between the old and the new and trying to get along. Excellent, excellent. And Michelle, let you answer on this mic. Okay. Okay, so what's next for you? Uh, continuing to watch the growth of Paris Blues and the New Legs, um, working on some of uh, some projects that I have, um, getting them ready and pitched and one shot. Um, just the journey of filmmaking, it just continues. You drop one in the can and you getting your mind ready to say, what am I going to shoot next? Mm -hmm. What am I going to pitch next? Where are we going next in the universe? So it's it's an amazing journey mm -hmm. to be a filmmaker, whether you're in the United States and Paris or you know internationally. Just pick up a camera, tell stories, and share them with the world. Can okay. I chime in one thing? I think because her and I, we started off as actresses, and we still are actresses, so we always kind of forget that portion okay. out, yes, as well right. as filmmakers. We became filmmakers as a necessity okay. because there's not much roles for women, and particularly women of color. Mm -hmm. So I think we also can't forget what we do as well, actresses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, auditioning for roles and having opportunities for roles, okay. as well as creating stories. Okay. Yes. So yes, I need to claim that and continue yeah. to claim that. So after you know pitching and getting things ready mm -hmm. it is also uh, getting back for both of us uh, going back on the other side of the lens to be mm -hmm. the actors that right. we were born right. to be and sharing you know our gifts and talents as creative so yeah. thank you Nadej for that remembrance because <laughs> you get caught up on the other side yeah. of the camera and you forget yeah. oh wait I am an actor mm -hmm. so let's get back to acting exactly. yeah I don't want people to forget that because once we became filmmakers, as you're just a filmmaker, but we're also yeah. actresses who, who became filmmakers to create opportunities to create for ourselves. Yeah. So.
it's also going back to the other side of the lens as Michelle spoke Absolutely. about. Yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. Alors, le travail continue. Euh, ça ne finit jamais. En tant que réalisatrice, euh, c'est de continuer avec l'histoire de Paris Blues in Harlem, peut-être transformer ça en série de télévision et vraiment raconter l'histoire non seulement du club de jazz, mais tout ce qui se passe dans la ville de Harlem peut être, euh, peut être visité comme thème euh, dans cette série de télé. Euh, par exemple, comme le, le show, euh, l'émission de télé American Cheers qui racontait des histoires euh, sociales et euh, des histoires euh, du quartier dans un bar précis, c'est un peu le même, euh, la, la, la même direction qu'on peut prendre avec, qu'on veut prendre avec ce, ce, avec ce, ce court métrage. Et aussi de l'autre côté, c'est de se souvenir que oui, euh, Nadège et Michel sont réalisatrices, mais elles sont aussi actrices. Alors le travail continue aussi dans ce genre, euh, genre de rôle, de trouver des nouveaux rôles, de faire euh, de trouver des, 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 des nouvelles jobs en tant qu'actrice, surtout d'actrice euh, noire parce qu'elles euh, sont devenues réalisatrices en temps de nécessité. Il n'y avait pas beaucoup de rôles qui étaient créés pour elles, alors elles ont créé leur propre rôle. Mais aussi en même temps, il y a de, toujours du travail à chercher. Et Michel continue ses, ses démarches, elle continue à chercher un peu de travail dans le film, elle, elle réalise ses propres films, elle doit présenter ses films, et c'est ça sa prochaine étape euh, en tant que réalisatrice. Alors, euh, merci Nadège. Yes, merci. Merci, Merci Michel. Merci. Euh, bonne chance ce soir avec votre film. Merci. Ok. Et euh, c'est ça euh, pour Nougat TV. À la prochaine. Bonsoir. 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 Non, non, non.